Fear is the number one thing holding you back from the life that you want to experience. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you just how easy it is to let go of this fear and through this process that I'm about to share. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Schmidt and I guide people to heal themselves. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you many of the ways that fear really just holds us back. Um, I'm going to teach you also how to release it and how easy that process can be. And I'm also going to be sharing with you the positive aspects of fear. Yes, you heard it, the positive aspects of fear and how we can use that in our daily lives to not only process fear in the moment, but really reframe it and embrace it and use it to our advantage. All right, so make sure you watch till the end so you can catch all these great tips. All right, before you say, hey, Matt, but I don't have any fear. Okay, these fears are a lot of times subtle. Um, we may not even think them consciously, but somewhere noodling around in our subconscious are all these fears that are really holding us back. And a lot of times they're subtle. Uh, they can also manifest as stress, worry, anxiety. If you have any of those things, they all come from a place of fear. If you didn't have fear, you really wouldn't care. <laughs> those things really wouldn't bother you. So just because we don't have an, a conscious awareness of these fears doesn't mean they still aren't present and doesn't mean that they aren't still affecting us. So by going through this process, you, we can see where they come from and they all come from somewhere. And we can address them where they start, where they come from, and basically rewrite that story. All right. Um, sometimes these... Fears are even more subtle. Uh, if you're sitting around feeling like, meh, <laughs> my life is okay, <laughs> um, what's holding you back? Okay, Something's keeping you stuck from living that best life. If you're not living your best life right now, fear is holding you back. It may not even be your fear. Uh, if you're one of those people that watches the news religiously, those fears probably aren't even yours. A lot of them probably aren't even yours, even as we go through this. Um, and those are all in your subconscious mind, but your subconscious mind thinks that crap's happening to you. So we're going to go through this. We're going to address where they come from and, and change them. All right, some of the things, some of the forms that fear may take, um, it may be a fear of failure, a fear of change, a fear of the unknown, a fear of judgment. All different kinds of fears hold us back. A lot of people have fears of dying, fears of public speaking, uh, all different things that can manifest. So we're going to basically go back and we're going to rewrite that part of the story. Okay. So with a fear of a fear of failure, uh, realizing that maybe rewriting that story is realizing that there is no failure. I've learned them. You learn the most from the stuff that you fail, that <laughs> doesn't work out. <laughs> and that's where you learn the most. So the only failure is the thing that you don't learn from. Okay, if it's a fear of change, what we want is change. <laughs> so getting past that fear is a huge one. Fear of the unknown. The unknown is where the magic lies. So when we can address that, then we can step into that magic. Okay, uh, If it's like a fear of judgment, going back and figuring out that doesn't matter what other people think. <laughs> and once you can let that go, it just frees you up in so many ways. So all these things are pulling us back. They're all holding us back from moving forward, from doing the things that we enjoy and the things that we love. So um, if you want to keep this momentum going and really improve your life, I encourage you to either follow or hit that subscribe button so that you can... Um, be aware of more videos as they come out and really improve your life and become this best version of you. Also, if you feel that um, if there's someone you know that's struggling, I feel like we're all in this together. So if you can share this with someone that maybe doesn't have access to this or doesn't know about this, um, that would really help out. All right. All right. Um, with the positive aspects of fear, uh, there are a lot of positive aspects of fear. So one of the things is it does keep us safe. Fear is a survival mechanism. So it does keep us safe. Uh, it's protected us, but at a point in our life, we don't, just don't need it. So there's a big difference between danger and fear. So I kind of think of danger as if you're being chased by a lion, probably run. But if you're going through life, 
looking around every house, looking around every car, every bush for the, this hypothetical lion, <laughs> that's fear. Okay, so you're living in fear over we're imagining a worst case scenario about something that probably isn't even going to happen. And that's keeping you stuck. So that's the difference between fear and danger. So yes, fear does keep us safe in those moments of danger. Uh, the fear tells us not to put our hand on a hot stove. <laughs> um, it keeps us safe in that regard. But uh, an even cooler thing is that fear is the same as excitement. Some of the most amazing things in my life, I've been scared shitless, <laughs> but I got over that fear. So it's where you're going to go from that point. So we all have these things popping up. We can either hide in fear and go, oh, I don't know. <laughs> but we can also, if we reframe this and see this as an opportunity, uh, then you can really embrace this fear and use it to your advantage. That fear doesn't get stuck. It doesn't hold you back. And really, it opens up so many doors for you. And watch the magic play out in your life. A lot of things that I was afraid to do, I was afraid to make videos. <laughs> and then I just did it. I got over that fear. I, I went the other way with it. And, and now look, I was afraid to get up in front of a group and start speaking. Now look at that. So all these things that, I, um, that were fear have become some of the best opportunities in my life. So you can do the same in those moments, reframe it. Just see, well, let's see what happens and detach from that fear and just watch the magic. All right, um, I'm gonna invite you now to get comfortable. Um, we're gonna get into the guided process, the guided meditation. I encourage you to commit to this for 21 days to really work through the layers of fear that are keeping you stuck. There are so many types of fears in so many different places that I find working with people. So I encourage you to stick to this process for 21 days or until nothing new comes up. And you'll really get the most out of it by doing that. I'm going to put a timestamp in the description so you can just return to the beginning of this point. And I'm also going to keep this short so that it is doable so that anyone can return to this and do this in uh, only a few minutes. All right, now that you're comfortable, an area free of distractions, this is probably best listened to with headphones on. I'm gonna invite you to now just allow your eyes to close. And we're gonna start with a couple nice, big, slow, deep breaths, just to relax into this beautiful, peaceful space. As you exhale, allowing that breath to flow from your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. A nice deep breath. As you breathe out, just feeling your body relax even more and more and more. Now in a moment, we're going to start with some intentions. If you want, you can place your hands over your heart for this intention. You can say it out loud or just repeat into your mind. I intend to release all the fear that is holding me back. Good. Now go ahead and just take another nice, slow, deep breath. Once again, allowing that breath to flow from your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. And now I want you to bring to mind all of the worst things that you fear. All of the worst things. Like we talked about before, this may be even anxiety, stress, worry. All of the worst things and the worst case scenarios.
Just allow them to come up from all those parts of your mind, all the parts of your body. All of the worst things, everything that you don't want to experience anymore, basically. Good, and then in your own time, just kind of mentally scan your body and just see where you're noticing the impact of that fear, where that fear is stored in the body. It may be a tightness in your chest, maybe a pit in your stomach, all kinds of things. Maybe all the joints in your body are seizing up. Hey, wherever it is, just become aware of it. Notice it. All right, now go ahead and just take another nice, slow, deep breath. As you exhale, just allowing your mind and body to just drift and float and connect back to the source of the sphere. Your subconscious mind knows how this all ties together. Your physical body is an extension of your subconscious mind, just drifting and floating back, 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 back to the source of this fear. Remember, you don't have to relive it. You've already survived. You can watch it as an observer if you need to. And just see what's happening in that scene. What do you notice about your energy? Now just go ahead and breathe yourself into that body just for a moment. And just see what you're thinking, what you're feeling. What sort of things you're telling yourself in that moment. Anything that's been keeping this stuck. Good. Now take a moment and breathe yourself out of that body. This is your chance to rewrite this. I want you to imagine a gold and white healing light projecting from your heart to this other aspect of you. Soothing, softening that fear. Releasing that heavy, dense energy. Maybe this isn't even yours. And I want you to just open up to having a mind-to-mind -mind conversation with that other version of you. Letting them know that you are them from the future. That none of that is happening now. That they don't need to keep carrying that fear anymore. Let them know that they're, they survived, that they moved on, that they're safe, that they're protected, whatever they need to hear. Or maybe that that's not even the truth. It doesn't matter what people think. 
whatever they need to hear to rewrite this story. God, if it's a difficult scene, you can put out the intention to call forth their healing team, other beings of light to come forward so that they can feel loved, supported, safe, protected, whatever's needed in this moment now. And then share anything else with them that they need to hear to be able to fully release this and let this go. Good. Now sending them that love, that gratitude from your heart for everything that they went through to get you to where you are today. Let them know it's time to come back for the to the future with you. Just breathe in deeply their strength, their confidence, the feeling of being safe, protected. None of that stuff is happening now. Just allowing that fear, that worry, that anxiety, that stress to all release back into time, back into space. Maybe like wa uh, waves washing through your body. May even just be like smoke or heaviness releasing from the body. Feeling lighter, feeling more clarity with each big deep breath. Feeling more strength, more confidence, more standing in your own light and power. God, just breathe that in deeply now to anchor that in. Uh, and then just allow yourself to gently come back, back into the room where you started. God, I remember, remember I encourage you to commit to this process for 21 days. You saw how easy that is to work through those fears. And I would love to hear your experience, what you thought about this video. I make these all for you guys, so if there's something that you want to want me to make, let me know. Okay. Uh, I also encourage you, if you haven't already done it, to go to the video that is letting go of control and trusting the universe. They kind of all tie together because when we let go of that control and surrender to the universe and trusting the universe, everything gets way easier. And it kind of goes hand in hand with letting go of this fear. All right, and I will link that in the description and at the end of this video on YouTube. All right, thank you again for watching, and we will see you on the next video.